In this video, we will generate the Chebyshev first and second kind polynomials in the trend line using Taylor Maclaurin series sum. They have the same formula, that is the coefficient times 1 minus x to the power k, where the value of k is from 0 to n, and n is greater than 0. So we choose from values 1 to 10. So data validation lists of items 1 to 10. So here are the values of n, starting from 1 and to 10. And the value of k will be from 0 to n. So our sequence of n plus 1, one column starting from 0, incremented by 1. So that at n equals 1, the value of k is 0, 1. At n equals 2, the value of k is 0, 1, 2. n equals 3. The value of k is 0, 1, 2, 3. At n equals 4, the value of k is 0, 1, 2, 3, 4. Next, we use the Taylor Maclaurin series sum to calculate the first kind Chebyshev polynomial, which is equal to RA formula. Series sum of the quantity 1 minus x. That's 1 minus x raised to the power k. So 1 minus x raised to the power k. So that's where k starts from 0 incremented by 1. And the coefficient will be the a1 range. And here you have the trend line. Trend line equation, which is also the polynomial of first kind, y1, and the trend line. Now we complete, with the, we go on the coefficient, which is equal to our formula, coefficient a1, where equals n times negative 2 to the power k times the third part is factorial n plus k minus 1. So factorial n plus k n plus k minus 1. Enter. So if k is empty, this should be 0. So we correct that. So if, if, so if k is empty, k is empty, it should be 0. Otherwise, calculate. Now it's correct. So if k is empty, n equals 0. Next, we work on the denominator, which has two parts, n factor n minus k and factor 2k. So we divide this by the quantity. First part, factorial n minus k, n minus k. Then the second part, times factorial again, that's factorial 2k, 2 times k. Enter. So here we have the trend line of the first kind Chebyshev polynomial. That's a trend line and the trend line equation. Next, we enter the second kind, which is equal to R A formula. Series sum of the quantity. This time it's also 1 minus x, but the coefficient is A2. So 1 minus x raised to the power k, where k starts from 0 incremented by 1, and the coefficient will be a2. So the coefficient is this range. So here we, in red, the second kind polynomial, Chebyshev second kind polynomial. Now we complete the a2, which is the coefficient of the second kind, which is equal to our formula, minus 2 raised to the power k. Times factorial n plus k plus 1 so n plus k that's plus k plus 1 so that's the numerator part if this is empty this should be 0 so we will correct that as well so if
So if k is empty, equals empty, zero. Otherwise, calculate. Now that we have corrected, we continue with the denominator. The denominator has two parts. So that's factor at n minus k and factor at 2k plus 1. So the first part, factorial n minus k, n minus k. And the second part, times factorial 2k plus 1. 2 times k plus 1. That's the second part. Now enter. So here we have the trend. Now we start with n equals 1. Start with n equals 1. At n equals 1, so we have here the trend line polynomial. So at n equals 1, championship first kind, polynomial y equals x or 1x. Well, the second kind is 2x, so that's it. At n equals 2, the championship first kind polynomial is minus 1 plus 2x. So minus 1 plus 2x. The second kind is minus 1 plus 4x. So minus 1 plus 4x squared. So minus 1 plus 2x squared minus 1 plus 4x, 4x squared. At n equals 3, the championship first kind polynomial is minus 3x plus 4x cubed. That's minus 3x plus 4x cubed. That's 4x cubed. Minus 4x, that's minus 4x plus 8x cubed. That's 8x cubed. At n equals 4, at n equals 4, the first kind polynomial is 1 minus 8x squared plus 8x fourth. X to the fourth. 1 minus 8x squared plus 8x to the fourth. While the second kind polynomial is 1 minus 12x squared. That's 1 minus 12x squared plus 16x to the fourth. 16x to the fourth. This is 16x to the fourth. At n equals 5, the coefficients of x will be 5 and 6. So 5 and 6. The x cube will be minus 20 and minus 32. That's minus 20 and minus 32. x to the fifth, 16 and 32. That's 16 and 32. x to the fifth. At n equals 6, the coefficient of x to the 0 is negative 1. That's negative 1. For x squared will be 18 and 24. 18 and 24. x to the 4 will be minus 48 and 80. So minus 48 and 80. And x to the 6, 32 and 64. 32 and 64. x to the 7. So x to the 7, you have minus 7 and minus 8. So minus 7 and minus 8. And x cubed, 56 and 80. So x cubed is 56 and 80. x to the fifth is minus 112 minus 192. Minus 112 and minus 192. And x to the seventh, 64 and 128. That's 64 and 128. At x to the eighth, the regression coefficient will be 1 for x to the zero. That's 1. x squared will be minus 32 and minus 40. And x to the fourth, minus 160 and or positive 160, positive 240. x to the sixth, minus 256 and minus 448. And x to the eighth, 128 and 256. So 128 and 256. x to the ninth. x to the ninth, that's 9x and 10x. That's 9x and 10x. Minus 120x cubed, minus 160x cubed. x to the fifth, 432 and 672. That's x to the fifth. x to the seventh, minus 576. And the other one is minus 1024. And x to the ninth, plus 256 and 512. So that's x to the ninth. x to the tenth. x to the tenth. 
x0, my negative 1, both have negative 1. And x squared will be 50 and 60. That's 50 and 60. x to the 4th will be minus 400, minus 560. x to the 6th, minus 1,120, 1,792. And x to the 8th, minus 1,280. And this one is minus 2,304. x to the 10th, 512 and 1024. This completes the use of Taylor Maclaurin series sum in generating the Chebyshev first and second kind polynomials.